In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite little hot route master or outside apprentice techniques to be able to turn your PA counter go concept into one of the best passing plays in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. And if you're looking to get better at Madden, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. It'll get you access to my Trips Tied In offensive ebook and all 30 of my additional Madden 22 offensive in defensive ebooks that we've created this season and it also will take you through step by step how to create your own offensive and own defensive systems to be able to maximize your effectiveness in this game and so if you want to get better at madden i would really encourage you to join our patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up it'll get you access to everything if you want to sign up there's a link down below now i wanted to talk today about my favorite play in the game which is pa counter go and i wanted to show a setup that um, was kind of popular at the beginning of the year and honestly has died down significantly, but it's still really good. And um, it's one of my favorite setups, especially whenever I recognize that they're not putting a 30 yard cloud flat on the trips tight inside. Maybe they're relying on their match quarter to be able to defend the number three receiver of the, of the trips tight end formation. This is a great mix in that will attack that left side of the field in kind of a special and unique way. So if they're putting, uh, typically speaking, what a lot of people like to do against trips tied in is they might do something essentially like the following. They'll put a quarter over here on the right. They'll put a cloud so they have a 30-yard cloud. And then underneath, they'll do a couple different things. They might take this guy, put him in a, a zone to the right, like a little purple. Um, they might take this guy and put him into a vert hook. And a lot of time, I get a lot of this. I get a lot of man coverage on this guy. And then they'll basically depend on this defender to stop your dig route, whether it be through a vertical hook or they'll put him in a purple. And then they'll basically receive the in route over here in the middle of the field. And this is um, pretty good defense. So what you'll see here is that this flat or this dig route, um, the flat gets covered, the dig route gets covered right there boom boom and their user can put all their energy into taking that away because they have the 30 yard cloud over the top well if you're getting an adjustment like that where basically this guy is not going to the deep sideline and this guy is in a third one of my favorite things to do in this game right now is to go to this setup right here um, especially also really good for the match quarter uh, defense that we're getting a lot of there at this point in the season but it's real simple. All we're going to do is we are going to streak Scotty Miller. It does require outside apprentice or hot route master. At this point in the year, most of you guys have hot route master. We're going to put the outside wide receiver on a post corner route just like this. So you see it looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same as our PA counter go setup. And if we want to, we can truly run our PA counter go uh, concept. What I like to do, though, is I like to drag my tight end. I'm going to create a high-low read over here on the left. And then if you want to, you can actually take this uh, Chris Godwin and put him on a post. You can put him on a crosser. You can put him on a smart route and in route. Whatever you want to put him on, you certainly can do that. Or if you wanted to, you could drag him and essentially recreate a slant post concept. But I like something like this. If you want to keep the same look, then go with something like this. The only reason I don't like going with something like this is I have two vertical routes. To me, like that's not ideal. But what you'll see here is if they don't have a 30-yard cloud flat, there's not going to be anyone able to guard Mike Evans over here on the left side. I'll show that one more time. So, again, you'll see here I'm going to set my play up. Now, it is a little bit better. Um, I'll show you something else you uh, something else you can do with this that will make it a little bit better. But anyways, we want it to look just like PA counter go. So uh, ideally, it's you know something like this um, or something like this. Now, what we can do with this post corner is we just want to wait for him to cut to the left, pass lead down, and you've got to click on an aggressive catch the route. Now, the reason that the outside third is actually playing that fairly decent is because of the man coverage on this player. That doesn't always happen, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. So, like, let's say that it's zone and they're not going to man up the number two receiver in your trips. This is going to get so much more separation. You'll see right here that now that third will have to either, you see here, if he bites down like this, then that's a one-play touchdown. If he doesn't bite down... Um, then obviously you can just throw the poco or the, the post corner. So let me show you this is a, a cover three bomb real quick, and then I'll show you something else with this. So this is more for when they're putting this quarter here. When they put this quarter here, it puts a little bit more pressure, I think, on the thirds. 
But anyways, I'll just show you the setup here. Two streaks, boom, boom. And then you'll see here if he bites down, okay? If he doesn't bite down as you saw right there, then that's where, you know, now we're in a double Mabel situation. So let me show you one more time here. This is um, kind of the cover three cloud, if you will, version of this. So let me put this guy on a seam flap. So it looks something like this. And again, your read is if they go with the fade, then throw the corner. If they don't go with the corner, then obviously you want to throw the fade. So what you see here, just kind of reading him. Okay. And we'll just throw that. See what I'm saying? And that's going to get about 30 yards down the field. So you've got about 30 yards. Now, another thing that you can do, let's say that they're doing, let's say that they're doing this where they are manning this guy up. Okay. Let's just say hypothetically, they are manning this guy up. This is why I like the tight end in route. Um, because this guy is likely not going to be in a purple. If they're manning this guy up, he's going to be in a vert hook. So now we're going to outflank them to the side of the field because they have to use the crosser to carry it, to get it to the 30 yard cloud. So we do something like this. And now what we have, if you take a look at the play art is we can flip threaten the flats over here, as you can see, so that if the outside third, for whatever reason is able to jump it, now you have, you know, you just have kind of a, a, a hedge, if you will, on your bet. Now, last piece of this is, again, I want to show you one other thing. So let me show you this, um, if they man him up and how to throw this route to Mike Evans. So if they man him up like that, I want you to notice two things. First and foremost, you notice Scotty Miller is wide open, Okay. Scotty Miller is, is wide open, and a lot of times the man coverage will actually – it's really interesting, but a lot of times the man coverage, especially if you put him on a fade instead of a, uh, a streak, the man coverage can dumb out for whatever reason, cause some kind of random glitch or random bump, and Scotty Miller could be wide open. I'll show you right here. So you see here – see how he's wide open right there? And again, Brady, ter terrible throw, but you see how much separation he has over the top. So if he gets that initial separation, give it a throw, especially if it's man coverage, okay? I can't stress that enough. If it's man coverage, um, throw it. Now, let me show you if they press him off the line real quick. So this is a press off of the line and do the outside quarter, or not outside quarter, but the post corner. And what you'll see is see how he gets bumped, and then, as you can see, that's open. So... That's kind of the concept in a nutshell. And then the last thing I do want to show is I do want to show this against match coverage, um, or at least in particularly the way a lot of people are running match right now um, against trips tied in, which is basically this. So essentially what they're doing, um, essentially what they're doing is they're going to inside quarter this guy. That's going to guard circle. They're going to outside quarter this guy, and they're going to shade inside. And then on the, and then basically their user is going to say, I'm going to guard the tight end. Like, the tight end is basically my guy. And they're going to basically – because most of the time you don't put the running back on a route or they're going to cross man. So now what we're going to get here is this double move that's going to essentially work like a comeback route. So in, out, outside, left, pass, lead. And as you can see there, if I cut that off with a user catch – against man-to-man, -man, I can have a pretty good chance at picking this up, even if they have, like, a curl flat zone over there. Because, again, these routes, this will get pretty far um, down the field. You know, so you'll see right here, in, hard outside pass lead. Brady's killing me on the pass leads, but you basically just want him to catch it on the outside of his outside shoulder on the sideline. That's really important that you make sure that the ball gets out to the sideline so that the the, um, the curl flat can't can't get to it. So you see here, snap the ball, hard left pass lead right there. See that? And that's why I like that because that can also counter the, the quarter that is very, very popular right now um, in this game. So there's a lot more that we can talk about with this route combo, but I just wanted to kind of show the Poco route as a potential option to your outside player to be able to threaten them, especially if it's going to basically force them to have to put a 30-yard cloud flat on the left and a 30-yard cloud flat on the right, uh, which is going to open everything else up for your offense.
thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my full Trips Tied In offensive ebook, there's a link in the description that you can click on where you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks by joining my Patreon page. And again, the link is down below.